Hi, um, on this video, I'm gonna give you a small introduction to Rattle UI. So, let's get started. Before we go deeper, there are a few things to say. What is Riddle? Riddle is an application created to explore your graph. Through it, you can do different operations like drop the database, edit your schema, visualize your data set in a graphical way, and several other operations. It is a React.js application and it runs on your browser. In order to use the Rita UI, you need to run its binary, which is a Golang web server. You also need an accessible cluster. Um, a cluster in the graph means two, at least two nodes, which could be a combination of a zero node and an alpha node. In other videos here on the channel, you might find a step-by-step -step how to start a cluster with Riddle and the graph, whether by Docker or binary. One term that I will cover in this video is DKL. This is the name of the language that the graph runs. It's very similar to GraphQL, however, it's much more powerful. There are videos here on this channel that explain about it. Also, the DKL was called GraphQL plus minors. But we have renamed it. I'm gonna open here Safari. I have already a the graph instance running, so I just need to use. Okay, now let's start uh, Graph Hotel. Okay, it's listen on the port 8000. Let's go to here. Like host 38000. Dashboard. So the first time you see Riddle, you're gonna see you're gonna choose which version you're gonna work, and you can set this to always uh, launch at latest. So Dev, you're gonna have you can have some bugs and unstable things. Latest is as it, it says, and the local bundle is the version that comes in the binary itself. So let's go to latest. To connect to a server, um, it have automatically um, loaded this. I think this this was saved. Let's just start it fresh again. Let's start like a cognito. Uh, here. Okay, start again. Oh, it's oh yeah, it's automatically okay. So the first time you run the graph and it doesn't connect, it will be like. Um, let's say, let's say this. So, the first time you run uh, Rattle and you try to connect to your server, to your cluster, you may see this issue here, which is it can't uh, reach the the cluster. So you're gonna see the red here and the yellow ones here. Those are signs that something is wrong happening to the connection. So the graph can't see the health and etc. from the cluster. So what you have to do is, in this case, I'm gonna delete this one, and let's say in, let's, um, let's delete this one. This is the graph um, playground. So I'm gonna. Place this. So the first time you're gonna connect it to uh, your cluster, you're gonna have this state. So um, you're inserting a new address here to connect. Remember that the graph itself usually is is in the port 8080, not other ports, not 1980 or 6080 or something like this. Almost always, a rattle will connect to the HTTP. Um, address and that means the 8080 port which is the the rest API let's say here um, if we go to 8080 right now you, we're gonna see the graph this information say that the graph is running to see if the graph is healthy we can go to 8080 health and we see that it has, uh, it is running. We have information from the alpha. Uh, it's healthy. 
and this alpha we're hitting is group one the version of it the uptime so let's go back to here you have entered a new address which is the address for your cluster and you know exactly what the HTTP port use it for the graph if you have enter the flag for uh, offset you should increase these numbers by the offset you are using so in this case is uh, the default uh, offset which is zero so it's in the 8080 port let's connect it's connected it's uh, we can see all greens here so that means that everything is fine we can we don't need to use nothing here only if you want to add uh, increase the query time timeout or if you are using slash but we don't use anything here we continue okay we are we are logged in so here we have the two panels um, that you usually will use so in this side you're gonna have the list of um, of queries imitations you have done you have the block here to insert your query the, to insert your mutation here you have the options here to read only to use best effort clean and run so we have here a placeholder to add variables the, those are variables to decal it's similar to graphql but it it have nothing to do with graphql so basically riddle you're gonna run decal only uh, you won't run uh, GraphQL here. To use GraphQL, you have to use any other um, type of like playground. And there are several other clients for for GraphQL, like for the ones from Apollo, etc. And in the future, maybe um, Rado could support GraphQL, but right now it's supporting just DQL. Okay, so this is the console, basically here. Okay, let's go back here. So in this panel here, you have the schema. Everything about the schema, you're gonna find here. So we have the list of pretty kids already on the cluster. And if you click in one of those, you're gonna see the properties, the pretty kid and the type of it. You can change it also, you can change the, the type of it. Let's say integer index, index it's absurd and update. It will fail because you cannot convert a UID to some other type. So you have some statics here, that you, which you can sneak peek some um, data. You can also use this to see the data itself from that sneak peek. As you can see here, okay, it it goes to the to the history. All right, let's go back to the scheme again. So um, you can also click here to see all. We have here sections to edit the whole schema. We have the button to refresh the schema, the predicates, which is this section, and the types. And we have a few types here. You can edit it any time you, you can change the type here. You can like, you can choose any other uh, predicate and save to create, to edit the type for actor. You can create new types like my new type and let's say it has this here and you create and you see it right here actor string okay this book edit it's um it's a very powerful to and rattle so you can see the schema in a plain text and, uh, and you can edit it directly here it doesn't have the type right now just the predicate and uh, you can also here and you after editing here you can apply the schema and you can also drop the data so we have two types of dropping data you have the this usual drop data and you have to write here and click here to drop the data. This will drop only the data. It will, it won't uh, clean up the schema you have done. So if you want to clean up the schema, you will have to uh, write here, drop all. 
and you can drop off. This is a easy way to clean up the, the server. Um, look at it, I already have shown everything. Okay, cluster. Cluster, you're gonna see um, every information we have already uh, given to, to users about the cluster uh, context. You have the group zero, every information about the group zero, the, the license, you have here a list of tables and the size of it and the address of it, the number of this group and so on. And you know, by this, uh, this is uh, the leader as it's, it, it is only one alpha, it, it's basically the, the leader. If you have more than one alpha, only one will in the, in the group will have this little banner here indicating that he is the leader. So backups, you can create backups if you have the enterprise feature enabled and the, the links for help. So it's pretty basic to use Riddle. So usually I see users um, complaining about the address itself. Um, sometimes they use like 8000, which is the, which is into the address for the graph. This is the actual address for Rattle. So this a uh, thing that to pay attention, some typo here. So that's it. Cheers.